spokesperson report, 397, in front of the White House, 65. The UN must lift the anti-human rights sanctions in accordance with the U.S. hostile policy against North Korea. First, the U.S. Secretary of State insisted on strengthening the obligation of the United Nations member states to implement sanctions against North Korea. On March 3rd, the U.S. emphasized the cooperation of maritime sanctions against North Korea, saying UN Security Council resolutions regarding North Korea remain in effect at the fourth conference of maritime security hosted by the U.S. and Netherlands. On the same day, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State nominee Randy Sherman made reckless remarks that the U.S. has to use every tool available unless it comes to the table to really make progress in denuclearization, even under pressure through sanctions. On the fourth, the U.S. Under Secretary of Defense for Policy nominee Colin Kerr mentioned the U.S. must continue to pursue robust sanctions. Before this, the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Linda Thomas-Greenfield defined North Korea as a serious threat. It clearly shows where the nature of the resolution of the U.N. on sanctions against North Korea is. Second, since its founding, the U.N. has not been out of the rubble stamp function for the U.S. Constantly maintaining the U.S.-centered perspective on North Korea, U.N. aligned itself with the irrational acts of the U.S. imperialism through sanctions against North Korea and provoking the arguments about human rights rather than helping to realize the peace and security in Korea. Recently, the UN Special Rapporteur on the situation of human rights in North Korea conjectured the violation of human rights and economic hardship were caused by the North Korea's countermeasures against COVID-19. It is not different from the sophistry of the US State Department that North Korean policy made people's lives difficult, even if in the UN Security Council Sanctions Committee on North Korea, the U.S. has been working for humanitarian aid to North Korea. Third, the U.N. should lift the sanctions against North Korea and abolish the resolutions on human rights, which are the plot of isolation and squeezing and the collapse of North Korea. We never forget the history of the U.N. on November 14, 1947, which voted to hold the elections only in South Korea, accepting the proposal of the U.S. In fact, it was the decision to divide Korea into two halves. All undemocratic behavior of the U.S., which decisively distorts democracy in the U.N., is against the original mission of the U.N. to maintain the international peace and security. As long as the U.N. is in accordance with the plots of the U.S. imperialist aggression, the realization of peace and security in the world is only a delusion. On the basis of recognizing equally North Korea and the U.S. as a sovereign state, the U.N. should fulfill its duty to protect peace from every aggressive world. March 11, 2021, in front of the U.N. headquarters in New York, spokesperson office of the People's Democracy Party.